What's up guys and welcome to another episode here at Tremors. Today, we already broke down the Broncos. We went around and broke down a lot of the Broncos that were here. So today we're actually gonna walk the show. I'll pick some of my favorite picks out here. Uh, we've done about 70% of the show. We haven't gone through the whole thing yet. Today we plan on putting all our steps in and getting it all taken care of. We're here at the Weston Super Winch booth. So out of respect, of course, we're gonna go and check them out first. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed that Bronco video. And then we're gonna see some more today also that we didn't spot the first time we went around. But yeah, stick around, Weston, Super Winch, and then the rest of the show, let's get it. All right, so first things first, here we are. Obviously, you guys have seen me use a lot of this stuff. They got recovery gear. They got the Kinetic, soft shackles, D-rings, pretty much all the above. These are the, all the mil-spec, heavy-duty, military-grade style uh, winches. They have a few of them here. These are the big daddies, 1800, 18,000s, 15K, all that goodness. So if you, if you have a tank or a big girl you want to put a $10,000 winch on, I'll let your boy. I'll get you hooked up. And then obviously Shreddy was here the last couple days signing autographs, so it was pretty cool. We went and helped them build this truck. Oscar put the suspension on it. Kept it pretty basic. It's a nice diesel Mercedes Sprinter. He's got his bike, a nice toolbox back there. Obviously, nice tough stuff tent. It's pretty sweet. Pretty nice build. Nice and simple, clean. Weston's bumper and super winch are on it, so that's pretty dope. And then it has some X comps and all the above. And then they also put uh, lightning in here. So the lightning's pretty sick. Uh, I mean, it's pretty basic. I'm not a big fan of this truck, but only because I drove it and I enjoyed it a little bit. And it just uh, it didn't, didn't do it for me. But this bumper's pretty sick. So this gives you access to the front. And then you could move this, shift this down. And then it gives you complete access to it so it's not in the way, which is really cool. And it also closes when the bumper is. Um, completely attached so that's pretty sick let's go to tundra next all right and they also brought a tundra so obviously a new tundra they put all their goodies on it stat front bumper nice winch wrapped it up a little bit gave it a nice little carbon fiber touch but yeah it's pretty sick if you have a tundra and you're looking for something relatively simple this is really cool they also have a swing out for it the swing out uh i don't know when it'll be released but it's really really nice put a big tire on it it's got some mollies for it. It also has a little table. So the table's right there. The gear. Swing out's pretty dope. Last but not least, obviously the Bronco. Has a nice Eagle Pro in the back. Nice swing out. The rear bumper. They wrapped it with a nice topographic wrap. They did a really nice touch. I don't know how I feel about it, but they did do the Weston lighting on the front. So instead of the Bronco, it says Weston on it. It's pretty cool. I mean, it just depends on how you feel about it. Nice for a NAN, even with the big bumper. It actually kind of looks good and looks nice and stout. But there it is. So it's in the corner. And obviously, the best part about it is my video is playing up top. We made a team. We're at a team. But yeah, so they had me uh, edit their video, and there it is. Huge screen right at the top. Everybody walks in, gets to see it right away. So that's pretty sick. Proud moment. We're going to keep so up. Right next to Weston, we uh, have this booth right next to us. And this truck right here is massive and it also gets used so obviously you guys know how much we appreciate all that but i guess this did something let me see so this truck belongs to martha and eli tansy they've been on the history channel and dude they put this work this truck to work it's just big old girl it looks like they use it for hunting they slept in it they got all the goods in it but it's pretty sick it's it's cool to see something that a lot of people build but never use and they built it and use it so they carry their quad and then uh yeah it's just it's just dope it's really really dope they carry everything they need extra water extra fuel big old girl huge axles four by four all the goods damn that's overlander's fuck right there all right let's keep moving and then that's we're moving along we ran into laser nut there it is cody our good friend He's the one that owns Laser Town. He has this booth right here. He always brings us two rigs. This thing is crazy beautiful. The wrap's amazing. It's just, it's just dope. This thing is nasty. But if you're ever looking for anything to get laser cut, Cody will oblige, need his help. Hit them up, they do amazing work. They have a lot of people they already do things for, Monster Energy, they have a table over there. You can look them up on online at Laser Nut or Laser Town or Cody Wagner, either one of them. Sick little booth, nice, simple, and effective. We're gonna keep moving. 
All right, so with all the good comes the ugly. Here's the first of many uglies. I mean, this is just my opinion too. Don't get all crazy. But why? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess everybody has their opinion and their taste, but we're just gonna call these the what are those? These a bunch of paint, a bunch of accessories. They match everything. And the crazy thing about these trucks is a lot of times they use good parts. They have big axles, they upgrade everything. See, just like that. And then they never use them. They put these big old wheels on them, all these accessories. But then there's what? Like what's next, you know? It's so wild to see. So with that being said, this is the first. What are those of the builds? All right, so the next build we ran into is the Quadratech build. We actually ran into this build outside while we were getting ready for SEMA during the first few days. And what's really dope about it is, obviously you can already see it, but it's a four by E with a JT back. So they did a custom, you know, obviously they had to customize it a little bit right here to make it fit and make it look super clean and cut. But it's really, really dope. It's, it's something very unique. It's like a little mini truck. I kind of wish the Gladiator came in this version also, where you can get it in the two door mini truck Gladiator Comanche looking kind of thing. Uh, that would be super, super sick. I mean, front burper could use some work, but the paint, <laughs> the execution of it, honestly, it's pretty sick. And we did point out that it would be better without a rack because the rack gives it a, a different look, I guess you can say. But without the rack, I think this would look super, super sharp. And it's really dope. It took the electric platform and made it a mini truck. But there it is. Suspension's pretty stock. They didn't do much to it. It's got a steer smart tie rod, winches on it, bumper. But the body, the execution, that's really, really dope. So we're here at the Yakima booth. And one thing that we noticed is the Bronco Sport. So you guys know I've been testing Bronco Sports a lot. We've been taking them out on trails. So I've been having a lot of people ask me, hey, is there any Bronco, Bronco Sports out of SEMA? Make sure you record them. This one looks to be pretty factory. It's got some nice wheels. The paint job is pretty awesome. They did put a front bumper on this. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it just because it sticks out a little much. I think Teresa's from Baja Forges is a little bit nicer, but it does give you some protection. It does give you the option to put a bumper on it finally. I'm, I'm curious to see where they put the ECU. But it has nice Yakima rack, a couple chairs. It's got some lights up top. And then it does have a, a rooftop tent, the awning, some lighting. For what it is, it looks pretty cool. Again, not a huge fan of that front bumper just because I think it's even worse than the stock one. The color scheme, the way they put it together, looks pretty nice. So all my Bronco Sport fans, there you go. It's the first one. All right, so we're here at the Best Top booth. And honestly, they have one of the cleanest, simplest looking Broncos that I really, really like. Has a heritage look to it. And what they've done to it is really, really sick. So obviously you guys know Best Top carries the top. I ran their half top on the two door for a while, but they did release these fenders. Um, I'm kind of surprised how good they look, honestly. They followed the line of the Heritage Bronco and it comes back in the round. They're nice and tucked, super, super sleek. They look really, really good. And then obviously they went with the heritage look, but yeah, man, you gotta give them some love. This bumper could use some work, but they put it together well where it just looks good. Like you wouldn't mind driving that around. Nice cruiser, nothing crazy aggressive. It's got a nice step to it. This would be nice. It's just nice. They put PRPs in it. But again, I just wanted to showcase these fenders for all the people that are modifying their Broncos. These fender flares are sick like anything else. Some of the other ones, Bushwhackers, those steel ones, they just don't look good. But these are here? Hell yeah, these are fire. Yeah, good job, best stop. Looks sick. So we're here with one of our partners, Radflow. Glenn is doing his thing. There's a few people looking at the shop. He has this badass buggy here on Max's Trepidors. And super sick, super crazy build. Someday we'll own something crazy like that where we can just romp and go wherever we want. But this thing is nasty. But yeah, if you're looking for any coilover solutions, uh, we're also possibly working on a 3.0 solution for it. Um, for the Bronco, we'll be one of the first two doors to have 3.0s that are not the factory Foxes. So we're here at the Overland Vehicle Systems booth. And uh, we noticed this truck outside also, but they actually opened it up. All the goods are out. Super nice Land Cruiser. Very nice, super dope, classic. I mean, it's got all the bells and whistles. Obviously, it doesn't look like they wheel it. I know in Australia and places like that, 
this is a very common build turbo diesel toyota and it just does things you know hopefully they take this out man it'll be so sick to see it go do things but check out their setup dude he's got like a little bake oven espresso maker fridge so dope. what's that another air compressor yo check that out so dope classic music awning is sick it's got bags on it very well outfitted for off overlanding and some basic off-roading but it does have all the necessities to wheel it's armored up and everything so ah, that's incredible such a nice paint job really nice just really so nice we ran into the xg cargo um honestly really cool it's well executed booth uh black bronco black jl rubicon i just want to show you a couple of things for both my jl fans and the uh, bronco people so these are bags that they can put back here on the pillars are really dope they have some nice cargo area locations this is really really cool so i've had a situations where i like i carry stuff in the back and it rolls around little minor stuff like my hats and whatnot these little panels that are right here are really sick so they have them for the jl and they also have them for the bronco so they have the rear seat panels and these aren't molly so you actually just lift these up and they come off of the rail it's really really nice and then these have a release system he just showed us how they work and ah oh, dude honestly i'm really impressed how cool they are so if you're looking for a solution for especially our two-door guys because the two-door guys don't have any cargo space we don't really have any room so that's really dope and they are partnering up with ford to make it accessible through the ford marketplace so you'll be able to just add it to your bill when you purchase your truck but there's the back seat really nice well-built bags so yeah We'll see what happens, man. These, these are really, really nice. It looks like they might be launching in June sometime. It looks like they're gonna have some sort of Yeti cooler set up also, but it's pretty dope. As you cargo, look them up. In the West Hall, they do have the Overland Experience section. So we can stop by the West and the Super Winch booth. So they brought their Tacoma and they brought another Bronco. This is the XCOM Bronco. Cool thing is they both ran with tough stuff. This is the hard shell. And this is the Alpha that I have on my Gladiator. They, this one has the rack. Also that's on the Gladiator. They do make it for the Tacoma. But pretty nice setups. They did topographic images on the side. And then Dave's favorite thing to bring to SEMA all the time is Mr. Skeleton himself. They put them all over the place. It's really cool, really neat. Nice and clean builds. If you're looking for an overland setup, rear tire carriers, all the above. Really, really nice. But yeah, we're gonna walk around the rest of it and I'll show you some of the other overland. So you guys know, I rock the anti-gravity stuff all the time. I wanna show you the new product. So a lot of us bought the PS80 which is this one we use all the time. And then I also have the PS45 part from Anti-Gravity. They tell us there's a big boy coming out, so I'm really excited what the output of that one's gonna be. Cause I need that big boy, you know what I'm saying? We're always out, I'm always using the stuff. It's really, really nice. That's what it's gonna look like. It doesn't look like a finished product yet cause it doesn't have its labels on it, but it's pretty cool. And then there's the PS80 and then the 45. And they also make batteries that are deep cycle. A um, couple quick starts. The little cart that they always bring is pretty dope. Graphics are sick on it. But yeah, look forward to seeing that and see the components of how much uh, output has this Gladiator. It's just clean, nice and simple. Stock bumpers, nice little graphics. Has a tent up top. It's called the Sidewinder. The build sheet is right there. Stop it, take a look at it. But I just like it. It's nice and clean. The wheels are nice, the color's cool. Graphics are done. Graphics are really nice. And they're just showcasing their tent, the rack, roto packs, just cleanliness. All right, then we'll move on next to it. They have a little bit more uh, aggressive build. Nice wrap also. Dude, look at these brakes. Nice brake system. This one is actually kind of built. Tire has been upgraded, front bumpers. A little bit more overland than the other one. The graphics are sweet. The rack's okay. Oh, this I like. That's one of the deletes, so you can put all your power sources down here, inverters and whatnot. Nice screen up there. It's pretty sick. Nice little half rack. 230 tent, 230 awning, all the way across to a couple fridges and packs. It's pretty sick. Tra trailer puller lovers here's a pretty nice trailer a nice bike up top nice shower on the outside both hot and cold water it's really really nice 
And then obviously inside the encasing of these trailers, it's usually pretty clean. Nice leg room all the way across. This one's made by Off Grid Trailers. So if you're in the market for one of these, check this out. Cause honestly the build construction, the way it's set up, the batteries, the water, it looks pretty nice. I'm sure it's not cheap when you have the money to buy something nice. Spend once, cry once. It's got a fridge, it's got a kitchen, it's got 33s or 35s, independent suspension. And that's really, really important when you're going off-roading some of the areas that we go to. It's really, really dope. So yeah, we're gonna keep walking. Stick around. And this episode's gonna be cars and trucks. You can never not record a Ford GT. Look at this beautiful thing. Fire and fire wheels. Just straight up amazing. Ford engineers killed it with this builder here. God, ah, so beautiful. Again, we stay consistent. This is a driver's car. Just absolutely amazing. Really nice wrap. Might not even be paint, but they sell like all the detailing stuff here. This is damn. I think it's nasty. This thing is nasty. From our JDM family. We saw this one get pulled in too. Nice 240SX. But, but if you look closely, if you look closely, it's powered by a Mazda. Jeez. Pulling up at that Enzo Tech booth, and uh, Enzo Tech has some dope rigs. So I'm gonna show you. This is one of my favorite ones. Even with its color, it just goes hard. If you're a car guy and you don't appreciate this goddamn thing, I don't know what to tell you, man. So nasty. And then next to the Liberty Walk GTR. So. God damn good. Just so good. Just the color it is. Just, ah, that's beautiful. GTR, this Mazda has a nice paint to it. And just like fire, 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 fire. Just nothing but absolute fire in this booth. The engine. Dude, look at this wrap, it's just gorgeous. This is exhaust, man. Who is this guy, Batman? Sheesh. Just dope. Enzo Tech, well done. Good choice of vehicles. Hella killed it, man. Ooh. All right, so we just pulled out to the outside of Las Vegas Convention Center. As you guys can see, it's gonna be rainy day today. Sprinkled a little bit on the way in, but we're gonna see the cars that are outside. Some of these are pretty wild, so stick around. It's going to be a fun one. All right, first and foremost, dude, this thing is actually kind of sick. It's got Kings, got the Tonka paint job. What the hell? The fender comes up. It's got all kinds of storage. It's got that badass ARB high lifting, high lift jack, power tank, Kings. They look like 43s on some 22s. This thing is massive. I don't even think it's a Gladiator anymore. It's something else. It's got some of the Gladiator components for sure. But the arms are humongous. This thing is sick. Shit. Dude, look at the keys on this thing. Damn. Son. Limited one of one. All right, Tonka, I see you. Woo. And I forgot to mention, it's a 6.7, 3,500 turbo diesel. I knew it. So it looks like it's a 3,500 mixed with the JT. Customized to be mad thick. So this truck has a 24s or 26s on some skinnies. I mean, are you really gonna use that rack and overlanding equipment, bro? I don't think you are, man. I don't think you are. It's got some sort of coilover setup. Might be Bill scenes, I'm not sure. Four wheel parts, arms, drop down brackets, like a lot of these trucks have. The bumper's actually not too bad. It's not too, too bad. It looks kind of decent. 
the shocks I'm not sure where they came from why 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 and then you see this badass thing dude this thing just wide at 450 platinum just clean big old tires just sexy man nice big ass toe pick she's just very pretty it's on carly kings the whole arms just done right nothing extra they made it wider put a better suspension on it obviously the big thicky tires it's just nice very very nice we keep walking outside and we ran into our man sam mr sam from overland roof racks he obviously he had to be at sema he did also collab with the rivian build so i'll show you guys that later and you guys have seen this truck plenty of times but it's right there he put a new optima stick on the side nice good effective build look at the hercules tires there's a couple broncos we missed so i want to make sure i go through it damn this is a wide girl very cookie cutter again, Baja Kids. I just wish some of these trucks got used, but it does have the donut doors. The donut doors are pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda like them, kinda like them. This is a wild track. Interior is pretty basic, pretty stock. Kings, obviously, stock bumper. Everything else is pretty much factory. But they're promoting their Hercules tires that I've never seen off-road either. But donut doors are sick, I'll give them that. Let's keep moving. What are those? What are those? What are those? What are those? Dude, they're everywhere out here. There are water those everywhere. We'll start with this one. The pumper, surprisingly, is tucked in, so that's pretty good. But suspension is absolutely probably use useless. I mean, it is beefy. They did the spindles, drop down bracket. Looks like they got upgraded axles also. But I mean, the wheels are what throw me off the most. And then obviously the lift is gonna ride like shit. So, I mean, doing something like this, just a waste of money. Why? It's not a Jeep though. She tells you that. Aw, uh, this is pretty sick though. I'll go on that. Chavels. And the paint, you can see it like not sticking to the top that well. It's, I mean, Typical SEMA build from people that are probably never gonna drive the trucks. Yikes. Let's go look at the final boss of gladiators. So after you've done it all, made all the money in the world, this is what you turn into. You gotta move to Florida too, somewhere in the East Coast. Like that's not even, why? Why would you do that? Fast and Furious did that. All those Fast and Furious movies that had all this crazy shit going on, look what you guys did. You created things like this. Man, and this is a sports, not even a Rubicon, huh? Oh no, it is a Rubicon, they just matched it. See what they did to the back. Look at these fenders. Oh, it does have horns though. Papa Vic, it does have horns. As we keep going, we run into this beautiful thing. Every once in a while, these things pull up at SEMA. Just sick. Covered up the windows, because it was raining a little bit. They must have a leak. But this is the Chalino Sanchez mobile. Mobile. Just sick. You look at the details. So one of our good buddies, Booger, asked me to record a forerunner that's here. So I'm gonna show you this one. And then, right after I show you a pretty decent built forerunner, I'm gonna show you what are those. Look at this thing. Bruh. Oh my God. They've done it to every rig. Oh, it does have Dana 60s though. Gotta give him that. He has Dana's airbags. That's so nuts that they did this to a forerunner. Holy shit. That's SEMA for you. Look at this thing right here. Super simple, single cab. Dually, six, seven, just sick. Just power stroke, clean, single cab, toe daddy. I mean, I don't agree with the rims. They're a little too big for my taste, but I think it's dope. Yes, man, these VWs are sick. This paint job is absolutely drippy. 
Interior's all done up, matching flannel. Look at that. Look at all this thickness. Man. Dude. Big chilling with these buses. Woo. Look at that. These are bad, dude. Whew. That's sick. I've seen these in videos and I thought they were fake. Look at this. We pulled up with this Mini Cooper. All ghost busted up. So sick. Damn, this is dope. <coughs> Told you, there's everything here for SEMA. You find everything from a Ghostbuster Mini to a regular Can-Am to a full race car, Porsche. Dude, look at this thing. They even have the backpack to catch goats. Little kickers. So dope. Ah, oh, it's gonna sick. At night, this thing might look, must look. To look at the cannons on top. That's so sick. Dude, somebody could give him a better pack. This used to be on the whole time. Tesla tunnel engage. You don't mind being on camera, right? What was your name? I don't mind. My name is Clinton. Clinton, where are you from? I'm from Reno, Nevada. Nice. So he's from out here. Light speed, Clinton. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can only go 25. They've slowed down the time. How are they going to know? Um, that camera over there. Oh, okay. Because there. there's no cameras now. Dude, look, it's the, it's the Rainbow Road, Super Mario. Yeah. Whee! All right, guys, that's the Tesla tunnel, and that's Clinton. If you ever run into him, you saw him here first. Our team. So now we're walking into the South Hall. So the South Hall has like tire carriers, rim companies, any machines you need to like remove tires, alignments, those kind of things. A few dope rigs here. So we're gonna walk in, say what's up to a couple of our family, and then uh, we're gonna keep it moving. But yeah, welcome. South Hall thing about the South Hall is they do have Jeep here. So Jeep brings out all the goodies. They show you all the axles. They have them all on crates. Um, and then they show you some of their wild builds. Here's a Gladiator snorkeled up crazy color combo just red everywhere black and red combination 20th anniversary 392 this is super clean so something like this is fresh it's just simple v8 noises i want to know if they put these rocks underneath the forklift or they actually drive it up i don't know but it's pretty sick and, you know they have all their accessories so you can come and check out their accessory booths and then they bring out some of the other cool things they do have a lot of the electrics here so i'll show you what that looks like they have a four by e right here that's pretty well outfitted looks pretty dope they do have the grand cherokee four by e and it actually looks really nice it's a little taller looks like it has nice wheel articulation the color is dope the inside is super sweet it just looks good it's a good looking jeep honestly um how capable it is who knows i'm not really sure but plenty of cargo space interior is nice if you have a grand cherokee i'm sure yours is equally as nice i wonder if it's going to come with this bfgs though pretty aggressive tire for a factory car there's the front end looks really really good this is the trailhawk too so it should have a locker a little transfer case and the accents from a 4xe so there it is this is the one that we've seen a few times the magneto 2.0 it's got kings tons all the goods just a good color scheme again i want to see it off-roading though that's where it would be sick jeep let's get this out bring it to king of the hammers do something with it would be dope then you guys know the ram brand and the trx i just want to showcase this because the color is 
freaking dope. It looks like the color from an M3 um, a couple years ago. Has a Ram bar, has a bike. It's called the Gold Rush Edition. It's pretty sick. Color combination is sick. That screen on Dodges is so dope. The interior on TRX is super beautiful. I fanboy over this truck, but I know the Raptor is probably still better in its category. It just has a good look, good stance, good colors. The engine sounds great. I would love to drive one of these and really romp it and see what's up. Very pretty. Well done. We just pulled up into another transitional hall. Pretty sick. This place is probably the nicest one because it's all nice and dark and nice and lit. But Fox and HRA is here. It's one of the entrances to the central hall. And there's the entrance there. So we're going to go in there and peep it out. That's one of the halls that I still haven't seen yet. But they do live music. Do sick cars, food court. But yeah, we're going to walk in. Let's get it. And then we have Sin City Broncos, Walter's truck set up nicely right here. It's a beautiful paint job. It's really cool. So we already seen that at one of the truck meets. Had a good time. Damn, look at this wrap. Look at that wrap. Sick. Dude, this wrap is dope. It's like a drawn. Oh, but it's like a drawing. So somebody drew it and then they printed it. Put the skulls on it. That's dope. All right, so, so we were walking around. This beautiful Dodge just popped up. Interior is completely clean. I've never even seen one of these, man. It's so dope. Yeah, it has a Hemi. 6.4 six Hemi. And this little Dodge, man. I wonder how this feels when you drive it. It'd be so crazy. Look at the interior. So nutty. To get a paint job to pop like that. That's money, boys. So sick. And they got this GT3. With the plaid. Hell yeah, race car. It's just dope. Uh, yeah, that's super, super. So dope. Anderson Composites and Saibon. So they're right here next to, to each other. But this one has the donut doors with the carbon fiber. So that's pretty sick. This build is uh, a two-door and it looks really nice. The rear bumper is okay. It's an ARB bumper. Not too terrible. Um, the, self, the build itself looks to be okay. It does have foxes on here. It looks like he's got the 3.0s. Oh no, those are 2.5s. It's weld off-road wheels, BDS arms. Car fiber hood. Casey's on top. The front bumper I'm not a huge fan of, but the rest of the build okay. is around the Anderson Composites. We noticed they had a Raptor here. Looks like they already made carbon Kevlar fenders for it and doors and the fins. That's fucking sick, man. It does look like it was sponsored by Camberg, but I don't know why. So I don't see any Camberg stuff on it. But the carbon doors, the carbon fenders look really, really sick. It probably has, yeah, I don't know. It says it has Camberg on here. Maybe it's Camberg's truck. It does have a car fiber top too, but I don't see anything Camberg on it itself. Um, but it's really, really nice. It does give it a nice touch. I mean, obviously this is one of the most hated things about the Bronco. And having it on there looks pretty dope. It does have a scotch mount. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I do like that. I do like that scotch mount that goes to the back and grabs onto it for performance. There it is. Nice, really nice wheels too. That's a nice built Bronco Raptor for sure. A lot of a lot of car fiber goodies. That top looks beautiful, and it does come in three pieces. So dope. So sick. It's nice to see it. All right, we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna go visit the Traxxas uh, booth for sure. It's huge. They have a course set up. We gotta go see what's up. We gotta go see if there's a Bronco in there. Let's go check it out. So sick, Traxxas. So Traxxas brought a whole course and they're letting Broncos and Jeeps go through it. That's so dope. 
Here comes the Bronco. We're gonna have to buy one of these. First of all, it's not IFS. So though. Hell yeah. In the off road world, you know about Rockstar Garage. They built some wild shit. P Scott told me to come see this and check it out. It's got hydro steer in the rear in the rear. Four link. It's a bug body. Dude, this thing is nasty. Look at the skid plate. Like you're not gonna get stuck. You're just not going to. Thing's badass. The articulation is crazy. It's so sick. Ooh. I just see in the front. Mickey Thompson 42s. Boxstar energy drink. And it's on a bug body. That's what's dope. Obviously, it's all custom fab. Cage. Kings. Just wild. Look at that, dude. Woo. This thing is sick. God damn. I did want to make a correction. They're not 42s. They're 44s. It's literally right there. 44 Mickeys. Fusion 14. New axle. Just so sick. They have one of the other ones out here. Everything's all Yukon gear and axle. Kings. Just a beast. It'll be so fun to drive one of these. This one actually gets used. I've seen these guys on tape and yeah, they, they definitely boogie. Everything is protected. Cages are well built. It just works. It just works. So dope. Good old gridlock. So we were walking by. Then we saw this beautiful thing from my JDM boys. You know the vibes, man. You know the vibes. This thing is cherry. Just the color, the paint. Just dope, 2JZ, it's an American one. It's got a fat ass turbo in it. Vibrant parts everywhere. Yep. All right team, so we know everybody has a checklist of cars that they want, they want to own in their lifetime. I've been fortunate enough to kind of buy a few of them, but this is one that I have not gotten. And now the prices are crazy, but just to let you know, like this is my number one like wants list ever like it's got to be built obviously i'll build it myself i'll eventually end up getting one but i gotta show you so let's get into it all right here it is so this particular one's built by team hybrid i'm not even gonna tell you what it is you guys should know if you're any car enthusiast at all especially in the jdm world this right here that's the goals right there that is goals an R32 GTR. Just beautiful. Might not mean much to a lot of people, but to me, goddamn, that's a sexy car. Whew. Dang. So then we run into this beautiful thing. So sick. Mickey Thompson. You got killed it with this one for real. You can't gear an axle. Graphics are dope. And it look like a USPS delivery Jeep. So sick. It's got all the bits and goodies. Dirty life. Anti-rock. Rock jock stuff. Rock crawler. Power tank. Just pretty. Just absolutely pretty. It's really, really sick. And then they brought all of them. All right, so I had to show you the Sammy, obviously, because it's super clean. It's really nice built, nice and clean. I'm excited for the, because we're hiding. Just so dope. Such a clean ass Sammy. All right, so I came back to the gear to get, pick up my stuff. Here's another Sammy, super dope. Just, you know, super clean. Both of the Sammys that are here are just like this, nice and clean usable trucks so i wish i had the sliders and that then that'd be it be set but that's super dope hell yeah let's keep moving all right team so we just picked up the rest of our tools um hopefully you guys enjoyed that walk around we picked some of the better rigs that i enjoyed 
obviously it's really hard to walk the whole hall there's a lot of people walking around but i picked and choose some of the some of the doper ones and as we walked by saw some cool things hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode make sure you like comment subscribe sema for us will be pretty much a wrap we have some more instagram stuff to do but as for episodes this will be the last one um if i miss something comment below let me know what it is um i'll make sure to look it up online and find it but so far we've enjoyed sema it's been fun but being here so many days consecutively doing setup and then walking around filming doing all of that puts a beating on you man Thanks a lot for sticking around make sure you like comment subscribe follow us on instagram youtube patreon and tiktok Till next time guys